here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. At least it's dry outside, but we still have lots of clouds hanging around. Let's get a look at live Doppler radar. You can see the couple of showers from earlier in the morning are now departing. Generally rain free across southern New England. Our threat tracker for today, Wednesday and Thursday. Low chance of severe weather. Here's a live look at the city of Providence. You see the skyline with a thick layer of clouds overhead. Here's uh, another view. The hurricane barrier camp looking west. Lots of clouds. 55 degrees with the wind from the north at nine miles an hour. That storm system that's been plaguing us for the last day and a half is still spinning off to our north and east, but it's beginning to pull away. Our attention will turn from that area of low pressure to another one moving across the Great Lakes right about in there with a cold front working through eastern Michigan right now. Lots of rain showers ahead of it. Even a a couple of thunderstorms. This system will be working its way eastward through the afternoon and into the nighttime tonight. The hour by hour forecast shows lots of clouds returning for the uh, uh, nighttime tonight after a little bit of sunshine later today and into the early evening. Here we are around midnight with lots of clouds in place and notice not a lot in the way of rain. A lot of the showers kind of fall apart as they work their way into southern New England, but a few showers are possible overnight and by eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning, I think we're going to be drying out already. Tomorrow looks to be a pretty good day with quite a bit of sunshine and comfortable temperatures, especially in the afternoon. Still looking at dry weather in the evening tomorrow. So your forecast for today, temperatures will get into the low 60s with some breaks of sunshine. Uh, winds generally from the northeast becoming more southerly, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Generally kind of a cool feel to the air because of all the clouds around. For tonight, overnight lows will be around 47 degrees with mainly cloudy skies. Now a few rain showers are possible, but we're not looking at a widespread rain and most of the showers should be gone by the morning. Here's that seven day forecast. Now on Wednesday, we are looking at temperatures to get into the mid 60s with maybe some early morning clouds giving way to quite a bit of sun temperatures topping out in the uh, mid 60s with light winds on Thursday. We're looking at a beautiful day temperatures in the upper 60s with sunshine on Friday. That's the day when we could have another all day rain beginning in the morning. It might actually hold off until just after the morning commute, but basically rain from mid to late morning right through the afternoon and into the evening. Another soaking rain, one to two inches of it possible Friday uh, into Friday night. Now it should be out of here for Saturday. We are looking at sunshine for Saturday, but it'll be fairly windy with some wind gusts to 35 miles an hour, about 62 on Saturday. On Sunday, looking at a nice day, sunshine temperatures should be top out at about 63 degrees. Be sure to download our WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app. You can get a whole bunch of weather information on there for your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Lack of sunshine is getting to some folks. I think so. I'm just saying. We'll get some for the next couple of days. A lot okay. more a little bit. sunshine. We'll all be outside for those times. <laughs> Look good. TJ, thanks so much. Now in stories coming up new tonight, starting live at 5, a critical night at the Garden for the Boston Bruins. They're taking on Toronto in a decisive Game 7 of the playoffs. We are live in Boston with what the team is doing to secure that win for tonight. Then new at 5.30 today with just days to go before the Brayton Point Towers come tumbling down. We have what you need to know to get around that area this weekend. And new at 6, the full Rhode Island House set to debate a municipal contracts bill this afternoon. It's drawn criticism from several mayors. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. Remember, if you're not home by 6 o'clock, you can get an update on all the day's big stories. Join us every weeknight for Eyewitness News at 6.30 on Fox Providence. In 